But I think that this black perception conspiracy theory exists because the powers that be want black people to look like criminals. They want us to 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 be involved in this lifestyle. They want us to embrace this lifestyle because we think that's what we are. When I hear about, you know, some Russian dude who's in the pockets of Trump and Putin being over the same record label that Young Thug is on, do I think he has our best interest at heart? No. Do I think he does well to fund bad behavior by black people? Yes. Like, if you... Like, Russia's one of the whitest countries in the world. <laughs> preserve whiteness, you know? I mean, what, what did the shooter in Buffalo do? He was trying to preserve whiteness, defend whiteness. There were armed protesters at a Juneteenth uh, celebration I saw over the weekend talking about preserving whiteness. Those, those, those people exist. And you'd be shocked at the means that those people would go to ensure that their place in the pecking order is preserved. You know, so when you think about this, you think about, like, I mean, just think about the prominent black voices now in media and hip hop. Most of them aren't positive. Most of them aren't reflective of middle class black America. They are people who either came from the struggle in the slums or identify with that and they think that's all we are and that's what they project. Like, hey, bro, I ain't grew up in no hood. It's going to sound crazy. My parents never paid rent in my life. They paid mortgage. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, we own where we lived. I don't identify with Project Baby. I don't. I know people who live the projects. I've been inside projects before. I ain't grow up like that. I don't identify with that. I don't identify with street code. That's not me. And most of the people I grew up with didn't either. Most of my friends didn't grow up like that either. How come we can't be the face of hip hop? Oh, boy, you wasn't outside. You wasn't doing it? Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry, my parents did better than your parents. <laughs> you know, sorry I got set up for success. Or sorry I came from that, I left it, and I saw the flaw in it. Like, it's it's like it's like the the, the rat the rat wheel, right? Y'all see this behavior is problematic, it's toxic, it don't work, and we say, hey, let's do more of it. Breaking traditional curse. I mean generational curse. Break the generational curse. But I think that in order to be a loud black voice, you gotta do it. You don't get to we we don't worship Kendrick like we worship uh, 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 a little baby, a Gucci man, like the, the street rappers, old Jay Z. Don't nobody want to hear that woke shit. But you know, that's why, because we don't control our message. And until we control our message, and that's all black people, oh, what, what? we will never, ever, ever be able to control our race. We have to control our message and change the perception of black people. And that's the black cons uh, perception conspiracy theory.